Hello, this is Lance Wolf. This is Iowa Productions, as it is. Uh, this is to address uh, some issues with the videos that you'll be seeing on this channel. Uh, this is a behind the scenes of the AAT Hovercraft rebuilt. Uh, the AAT Hovercraft uh, is a project that was for my graphic novel. And at the time, I didn't have time to finish it. I was applying to a studio. And I wanted to sh use that as partially as a studio uh, submission. So I was never able to finish off the cockpit or the guns on the vehicle. I wound up, originally it was supposed to be a helicopter gunship. And uh, the guns had to be mounted in such a way that they could uh, aim under the hovercraft as well. So I needed a unique turret type uh, assembly for that. And at the time, I just didn't have the time to finish it uh, for the submission. So I always knew I'd be coming back to it and redesigning it and doing the teardown. Uh, in an earlier version of the video uh, that's seen, there are three videos on my channel that are without sound. Uh, they were done purely uh, as a test because at the time I didn't have an HD camera and I really was curious to see how the models would work uh, shot in HD, uh, make sure I was going in the right direction, painting and whatnot to achieve the look I wanted for, uh, for them. So uh, they were pretty much just test footage. Also in those videos I state that uh, I uh, do not use castings, molds, or latex to duplicate parts or pieces. It's purely for the sack of money. Uh, I don't really have the space for it because it's a little messy. And I'd have to cannibalize my garage to do it or my backyard. And I'm just not in a position to do that. Plus, I don't own an autoclave. And I don't want to do casting unless I have one of those. Plus, my models are more sculpture. Uh, I have the concept art and the storyboards. So I know exactly what I want. I can see it in my head. Uh, I'm a professional daydreamer. In that sense, I know exactly what I want. And in a lot of cases, I will study the model parts and sketch them and actually use that to push the design further uh, in, its, in its design. As well as lots of research, which I'll, I'll address in another video. Uh, but it put me in a position uh, of wanting to address certain issues of the videos to come, such as I never intended to show these to anyone. Uh, that were just purely for my own uh, documentation. When I'd go come into the studio, any progress that was made each day on the model, I would shoot a little uh, video with my camera. I wish I'd had the forethought. I would have used an HD camera. Uh, now that I'm capable of doing my own video editing, uh, I thought it might be interesting to show this. Uh, now, when I first put them into the video editor, I was amazed at how long they were, and they were much too long. So I've tried to edit them down as much as possible. Uh, there's still about six minutes, and to me that's just a little too big. But to, So these are for hardcore modelers who are really interested in watching the, the build and see how it comes along. It's not for the faint of heart. And uh, I've tried to re output them in a higher format uh, to clean them up a little, and because I thought about injecting other video uh, elements into it. So they have these little black bars on each side of the video, which I'm not happy with, but uh, it was to incorporate other issues. Uh, so again, they weren't originally meant to be seen. <laughs> But I thought at the last minute it might be interesting to, to look at these uh, um, step by step as the model's coming along. And I hope I've addressed some of those issues. So, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy.